Okay, I think we're basically ready to go. And look, apparently the mic's working. That's something, right? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> we'll take it. All right. Dreams? Us robots mostly dream of electric swap. sheep. Let me swap it over. Oh, volume's on. I'm sorry. That's why I need to make sure to turn that off. Uh, and I guess I forgot to turn this on too. Alright. Oh, actually, one thing before. Uh, I want to check. Gallery. Understood. Uh, what was the one I got? It was this one. Use every double soul in kernel. I figured that was the case. Kind of weird that... I know I used kernel soul before, but I guess it didn't count. Hmm. A little weird. And that one's obviously used the Team Pro Man ones. Still don't know what these are now that I think about it. Cumulate the six souls in Red Sun, which I somehow got in Blue Moon. Because it only checks if you won all the fights, not the souls themselves. These have to be for Blue Moon, but I have no clue what these would be. Still have to play Red Sun, which I haven't done. Hell, I still need to continue my playthrough of White. I just... I hit Burnout, I guess. Anyway, what's this down here? Says File Network Six. Okay. Anyway, take it away, operator. All right. Last time in Battle Network Six, we got most of the standard chips. After doing some cleanup, there's still eight more to gather. But we're either gonna have to grind for money or grind for green mystery data on lower levels, most likely. Maybe we can get here. We're gonna have to do some very specific stuff to get some of these. Although, supposedly I could get this one from the virus itself. I just either didn't find it or I'm not lucky enough. But some of these, like this one right here, I need to lower the difficulty to like level one or level two and check green mystery data. And I can buy this one, which means money, you know, stuff like that. Uh, anyway. But more importantly, we got more than 40 mega chips. I'm still missing Portuguese, which that is 60 bug frags, which I'm saving up for the one giga chip. That's 100. Uh, but other than that, we grinded for... The Dark Soul chips of every one of the main six, other than Colonel. Other than Colonel. Uh, but we also got the normal and SP variants of the main four uh, Nebula Navvies. We got Dark Soul, uh, the Dark Soul chip for Larkman. We also got the Dark Soul and the SP chip for Gridman because I was already in the area and I had one unlocker. Or not one unlocker, one locked enemy, my head. I don't even know if I need this, but I'm, I should say I don't even know if I need to buy another one. But I'm gonna need to definitely buy another lock, lock enemy soon. So now the plan is to go to the next nebula area. Because now we should be able to move on. I'm really gonna have to money grind. I want to. I'm going to save the uh, the SP chips for the other navvies for later when I get more lock enemies. That requires a lot of money grinding for lock enemy, you know. Yeah, right here. But for right now, we're going to move on to uh, Nebula area. We'll save some of the clean up later. Actually, 
can, I think I can actually just run from these guys. And if I'm correct, that is not the right trumpet enemy. The one apparently I need to find, I, I read was an undernet too. Could be wrong about that. But yeah, I need to save up for this. There is another way to get it, but I, I could, I could just find it. Oh, what? Uh, I'm not. I'm trying. All right. Nebula area one. I should open blue mystery data along the way. Here's the thing. I don't think I can run from all this place. Shadow Man, ready to go. Honestly, I think Shadow Man is probably going to be one of the hardest fights we're going to be doing. Shadow Man, like, with all those clones, is basically anti-damage, is going to be very annoying. I think he's going to be one of the hardest ones. Okay. Uh, if I use this, I get rid of the green mystery game. Sure, going to happen. I think I'm gonna Number Soul, and I better do this. That worked out nicely. Okay. Now, if I use the Guardian in the right way, I can. Look at that. And we got Zen for it. I'll, I'll keep it. I will keep that. Honestly, if we're gonna money grind, it's gotta be a nebula area. With fights like that. I probably wouldn't need to lock enemy just to do that. Right, is it better to confuse or is it better to aqua? might be better to use. Because it will probably distract the, the one in front for a little while. Oh, he attacked. Huh. Okay. Kind of wish I could go Shadow Soul right now. take down the two in front and then save the fire hit. I mean, let's be honest, it probably would be faster if I just used the fire hit to get rid of one of them. Oh well. So I'll 
I'll Tomahawk Swain and get rid of one. Then we wait. Dark Dimension in six. Very nice, Hawk. I mean, be that is nice, Hawk. Good for you. What is that? It's going good. Going good, Hot Corn Dog. Um, um, something popped up on my end. Show? No? Okay. Uh, actually, is it still on this end? So apparently, as of now, I guess it has been one year since I became an affiliate. So, yay. That's a thing. Woo, one year. I'll be honest, not much has really changed because of it, but hey, one year. Of do one extra year of doing this since affiliate. So that's something. I was afraid it was going to take about two more attempts. Two to three more attempts, but no. Very nice. Very good. <coughs> there we go, got them both. But yeah, um Yeah, other than that, not much going on. It's a grind stream because we all know the grind the grind never stops. So it, it's it's not a special stream because the grind will never end. E <laughs> Does that mean every day is an an is some sort of anniversary stream if that's the only cr uh, criteria? But yeah, uh, right now at the moment we're not doing the grind. We are going with the uh, we're, we're going to. Do a little bit more progress in the post game. So, a little bit of progress. We get to move on past the nebula door that's blocking our way. I do think, like, this game in particular so far, when we got to the post game, I felt like there were a lot of ro uh, roadblocks, like, stopping you from moving forward. You know what I mean? Whereas with Battle Network 4, it was annoying because the Roblox was playing the game three or four times, right? Whereas with this one, the Roblox are more like, hey, now you, not only do you need to beat the game, you need to make sure to have 100 standard chips. Oh, now that you've done that, now you need 140 standard chips. Oh, now that you have done that, get 40 mega chips. Granted, it's something that you'll need to do anyway, but it's something I would have done after visiting almost all of the other areas, you know? Not the route I was playing for, but hey. Um... Because, ideally, I think, okay, so I think there are six nebula areas, right? And, ideally, I would have done a lot of the grinding once we get to, let's just say, like, five or six. You know what I mean? Depending on where the door would have been. Wait, I'm gonna go up here. But, no, like, every other nebula area, there's a new roadblock that you have to get past. So yesterday, I was playing Pokemon Rogue, right? Or Pokey Rogue, whatever it's called. And I was on a good run. Like, I made it to at least a good run for me. Like 195. I think that was my the the part. Round 195, I think, is where I got to. I lost to my rival. Only because the rival's like, I have a Mega Rayquaza. And like, 
and the Mega Rayquaza has like five health bars you have to get past. And I'm like, well, I can't beat that. I don't have good stuff. I mean, I do, but I don't have good stuff. I knew I had to be getting to my limits soon. I knew there had to be some sort of roadblock like that. Okay, I need to keep Nebula Area 2 in mind for Lock Enemy because that was a good green mystery data to run into. For either Zenny or Bug Frags, but that's a good green mystery data to run into. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Well then, it's not perfect, but you know, what do you do? So that's one reason to potentially not, uh, you know, just try to go for anti-damage. One, he actually dodged the anti-damage, that's kind of stupid. But no, like, the only part of the reason why I had a good run is because at some point, I caught a Spearow with its hidden ability. And apparently, the more you catch even the same type of Pokemon, uh, it, will pow it can power up the starting version of that Pokemon for later runs. So, I don't know if you know too much about the IV system. But how it works in here is that each Pokemon can have up to 31 IVs, and that basically just means 31 extra stats, right? That's, like, normal. But normally they don't change. In this, if you catch one with a higher IV in one of the stats, then now your uh... Then what that means is now, when you start with that Pokemon again, it will also have those highs, uh, that higher stat cap on that one stat. Now. That makes sense. So, like, let's say your starter starts with ten in IVs, right? In every stat. Then you just then you find one in the while you're playing the game. You catch one with. A 15 in attack, let's just say that. But everything else is weaker. When you start the game over again, and you choose that same starter, you have 10 in every stat, but then you have 15 in the one that got buffed. Get the magic card with 99. 99 all stats? I mean... You can't... You you have to evolve. That's, a, that's something you have to do. But... Yeah, you can have a Gyarados with best stats on a run if you're good enough. But, like... So, I... It is a good idea to catch things as you see them because it can power um, the starting variant for later. You know? applies to other things like oh I found a shiny now I could permanently have that Pokemon with a shiny with all these better stats and shininess also has another factor to it which is actually helpful 
like, oh, I hatched a Pokemon with a new egg move. Now, every time I want to use that starting Pokemon, I can choose those egg moves. Oh, I found one with a hidden ability? I can now choose to start off with that hidden ability of whatever I want. I found ones with multiple different types of natures. I could choose whichever one I want. So, hey, I think you're kind of getting the idea. Pokemon. Dark Toad Man, actually. Oh, no, I should have gone. Oh, well. So, with that all in mind, at some point, I caught a Spearow. I caught a Spearow with its hidden ability. Its hidden ability is Sniper. And what that means is, I think, if you get a crit, the crit itself does more damage. Or it has a higher percentage of damage increase, basically. Eventually, I got on a good run where I got to evolve. I, you know, got some good moves. Eventually, I got Focus Energy. It, it, it learned, it leveled up with Focus Energy. And that increases the crit rate. Truant? No, Magic Heart doesn't get Truant. That's not a thing. But yeah, so I use Focus Energy, which boosts. Uh, which boosts your crit rate. So, Firo is just basically critting all the time. And doing more damage, basically getting kills whenever I feel like. Yeah, Drill Peck, Focus Energy, Bruce for the healing, and I eventually swapped Assurance with Drill Run. That was a smart decision. So yeah, I, I was on a good run. Part of the problem I notice is after every battle you do, uh, you get the choice of a few items to pick uh, for going forward, right? It could be a held item for your Pokemon, it could be some healing, a revive if you're lucky, some Pokeballs, you know, a bunch of that sort of thing. But I'm just noticing, like, I'm not getting anything that fantastic, right? And... You know what? No. We'll do this. But yeah, I'm just noticing like a lot of the times I'm just getting the basic stuff that's not really that helpful. And then I think it's because I need to boost my my luck. Boosting your luck lets you have a higher chance of getting better stuff to choose from after uh, after battles, right? But I read that the only way to boost your potential luck is to have shinies. Is to have shiny Pokemon. Apparently having shiny Pokemon can boost your luck. So... On my new run, I chose Firo, and I ended up, and I had two shinies on me, so I just picked them and put them on the team. But yeah, dude, when you get on a good run, I'm, you're there for a while. At first, like when I, when you kind of first start, I was really only getting like as far as like I don't know, twenty-ish rounds, something. But now, like, doing pretty good. Like I said, I made it to 195. That was the furthest I got. Oh, and I guess one of the other things that to keep in mind. After, if you run into, like, basically gym leaders or elite four members, you're given a, basically a gotcha ticket to get eggs. Oh, hi. Hello, uh, Iori. It's been a while. I'm not sure if I gonna look. That's all good. Oh, hope you enjoyed the background noise while I ramble. <laughs> anyway. All right, five more for 200. I know it was so close. I at least wanted to get to round 200, but that didn't happen. 
but you can blame, blame the rival in her stupid mega shiny Rayquaza. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just gonna start with uh, not to Hoping he would be a fire guy, but it didn't. Uh, can I actually? Let's confuse. Let's confuse. Oh, yeah, every time if you run into a gym leader or an elite four member and you beat them, you are given basically a, a gotcha ticket for eggs. Anyway, I made a voice speaks out of nowhere. Power's been shown. There we go, we get to move on. Uh, what? Oh, another door. Okay, this is for something else. The voice speaks out of nowhere. Show your power. Drive yourself to the absolute limit. Should have used Ice Beam? I, I couldn't have, ha I didn't have Ice Beam. And besides, uh, that actually wouldn't matter as much as you think. Uh, I had a Swamper, but he had Ice Punch. Which is all good. I didn't get Ice Beam. It's still kind of RNG because, you know, it's a real like thing. Uh, but here's the thing. Mega Rayquaza has... Even though, like, it's Dragon Flying and that would be four times a week, Mega Rayquaza has ability that gets rid of all of the weakness that the Flying type would have. So yeah, it's still times two weak to ice, but not times four anymore because of the air. Mega, Re Mega Rayquaza was banned for a reason. <laughs> but yeah, I, after a while, I just couldn't keep up. And besides, it's like treated as like a boss. Like, I don't know if you... You, uh, you haven't played it if you haven't played any of the newer like Pokemon games where they have raids they have like barriers where once you hit a threshold it stops the HP from dropping but then they have to then they power up sort of thing yeah make a request that had like five technically like five bars of health hit him with two ice beams I told you I didn't have to I would have to hit him with like five Oh, another duel. The voice speaks out of nowhere. Show your power. Find all standard chips. I mean, I have like eight more to go, but... Are you kidding me? You see what I mean about these roadblocks? Okay. That shaky is not going to be able to do anything. And that, that's all that there is to this. Shaky can't do anything. No, it's Humhawk, so I can just stand right here. Okay, actually, getting a... Getting a lock enemy on this enemy formation would actually be very good. So I need all standard chips. I didn't go this way. Dead end. You see what I mean about too many roadblocks? Okay. We're gonna have to get the rest of the standard chips. Okay. I know some of them, like some I have to buy, which I can do. Some, I'm gonna, but most of them I'm gonna have to, like, get green mystery data on weaker levels, so, let's see. Gunsoul 3, number 29. Undernet battle green mystery data, just anywhere in the undernet, okay. Undernet 2, level 3 green mystery data, which I tried doing that. There is a lotto number. There is a lotto number. I think I'm gonna do that. So I'll keep that in mind. I have that highlighted. Yeah, the lotto number list that I looked up just clearly didn't have all of them. Number 
for 79. Airspin 3. Nebula Area 6, which I'm not there. And Area 5 for level 3 green mystery data. Or we could do one of the bonus panels in Nebula Area 3. That is still a 1 in 4 thing. There's also Undernet 2 level 3 green mystery data. So that's two level uh, undernet twos right there. That sounds like a plan. Okay. One twenty-six. So so far there's a couple that's still on the level threes. You and uh, so Trumpy. We want battle number five. Trumpy SP replaces Mutant, replaces 2B. Undernet 2, Factory Comp, 3 or 4, Message Comp. The one case comp, okay. I'm just gonna have to keep any of those in mind. Because it says, replaces Mutant. Wait, do I want Mutant or... Okay, I do want Mutant, which that one is... Replaces two. Oh, I need to keep the. Okay, I need to close the second door. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Close the second door. Uh, 130 V doll, which we can buy in. Wait, aren't, aren't we in Nebula 5? No, we're in Nebula 4. Well, if we go back to Nebula 2 Net Dealer, we can buy it. And that's going to be what we do. Um, 148. That one is... Uh, we need to change it to level 1. Close all the doors. And get Green Mystery Data in Scilab 4. 153. Scilab 2 level 1 Green Mystery Data. Get into... We need to buy an Undernet 3... Which I could probably do now, and then 179. 179, that one. Level 2 green mystery data. In Orin area 3. Beat a Fallout 4 again earlier today. Very nice. Again, you beat it multiple times today. That's what that seems to imply. Why? Let's go to... I guess we're gonna have to go to Undernet 2. We're gonna have to take some runs to uh, Undernet 2. So we can get Air Spinner. I'm gonna buy... Uh, get into as well. Okay. First, buy get into. Yeah, that's one standard chip done. Seven more to go. On track. We want to go to Undernet 2. Who are you finding? Oh, wow, it's Colonel. Hi. Not part of the plan. Okay. Um actually, let's start with number soul. Let's have this and I am gonna have my safety net. Just one sneak set to those kind of I see. You said again today, so I was confused. But I think it's because you played the game before and you meant again, like this is something you Okay, well I got you. Um Ooh, let's try to go for a confuse. 
try to confuse him. There we go. That. Okay, I am not getting either the SP nor the Dark Chip, that's for sure. Oh, I thought I had both. Um. drastically increases. His speed drastically increases when uh, he's in the middle of the attack. The first attack is slow. But it does increase. It is... And I guess we'll just use Shadow Man. We're gonna advance. Big move. If only I had lock enemy. Oh. Trying to get all the trophies of the game. Oh, okay. Nice. 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 Let's go find the two green mystery data that are here. There's one. Some Zenny, we'll take it. run. Yay. <laughs> and the other green mystery data. Wide shot. That, that's, not the, that's not what I'm looking for. Time to try again. I am reading that air spinner three is in under net two. Green mystery data at on the level 3 variants. Under net 2, level 3 green mystery data. Unless it means the in battle green mystery data. That's different. Sniper sneak kill was really good by end of game. I was hidden. They crit manually took like 7 times extra damage. That's insane. That's a lot of damage! time to learn where all of the green mystery data. Oh, look, it's Larkman. Hi, Larkman. How's it going? Speaking of Larkman, um, L, M, and N. Program advance. Take this dance three. Hit, hit. Dang it. Uh, that wasn't that good. I should have waited. Should have waited until he stopped moving. This is not a good run. The game itself is kind of jumping frames, I guess. On top of the headshot damage, which increases the damage by two, so I'm doing about 14. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, that, that, that is insane. Maybe I should have set up my safety net. Oh well. Man, if only I had... If only I had lock enemy right now. 
I know Chaos Lord won't actually make that much of a difference, but I have to. But it's fun to use. Well, I lost my safety net. Okay. Now... This fight would have gone better, but if Cactus Dance didn't miss. But here we go. Program Advance. I should probably go, I should probably carry a lock enemy on me, whether I find Colonel or uh, Larkman. data. It's here somewhere. There's one. Okay. I know where one is, roughly. But yeah, I'm hoping on, like, the next run of Poke Rogue that I do, that I just get, uh... Watch shot three again. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of hoping that uh, with the shinies that I brought, they'll increase my luck enough to get better stuff. And look, it's Larkman. Hi, Larkman. Okay. Um, I gotta put this a little bit differently than last time. I want to get rid of Markin. But Toadman is actually a good idea. Toadman's actually a good idea right now. Paralyzing him would help. Okay. It's paralyzed. Uh, I can go with Leader Raid. And... Uh, sure. Chaos Lord. Might as well. Oh, yeah, he's paralyzed. Done. I thought he was, uh... No, no, Okay. Okay. Uh... I have to go Tomahawk now. Let's go with. Oh, I 
that up. I knew he was gonna use that move soon. did I get hit, but it was past 30 seconds. I'll keep it, but yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I saw where the other green sweep was. It's up here somewhere. There it is. Zenny. But yeah, I'm hoping on my next run with Poke Rogue is that the two shinies that I brought will increase my luck enough for me to get better stuff. But I don't think it'll be enough because it didn't boost me up by that much. Oh yeah, uh, I mentioned like you could get like gotcha tickets for eggs. When you get, choose to get eggs, which you should definitely do when you get the chance immediately. <clears throat> uh, when you get eggs, you have the choice of basically three gotcha machines. One, I think, gives you a higher chance to maybe get a Legendary. One, I guess, increases the chance of getting a rarer, uh, what was it, like, egg move to have, which is not a, the worst idea. And then the other one has a higher chance of getting a shot. Honestly... I feel like I kind of hold off on the legendary one. Because while having one is nice, I mean, I do have Meloletta, but I haven't tried it out. I haven't tried using Meloletta. But, honestly, I, I think I'd rather just have more egg moves to choose from from the start, or the shinies to increase the luck to make getting later runs easier, you know? But no, like, it's actually kind of fun. It's fun to play through. Okay. Where's the second one? Is it the exact same spot? Whatever. Better try to take this. Uh, what's the best way? Under game. Yep, okay. It's probably gotta be packed. Now I get it. It's not that it matters. It was so Actually, no, it might not have. If I did it right. Anyway. But yeah, Poke Rogue is just a browser thing, so it's kind of fun to like jump into and try a round or two. Although when I tried a round, it lasted a long time, so like. I'm like, ah, I'll try for a round. And that will only last, I don't know, half an hour at most, and then it goes on for like the rest of the night. Ugh. Again, like, that hero I got was really wrecking, <laughs> wrecking stuff. Oh, and I think I mentioned before, like yesterday, the more you use the Pokemon or catch the same type, whatever, that Pokemon gets, like, Accumulative, live, um, accumulative candy, and you can use that candy to get yourself either a, pa a new passive ability to get, like permanently to have, or a. Uh, you can also reduce the cost that using that particular starter will use, because you can only use up when you're picking a starter. You have a ten point limit, and each but one has a certain limit, a certain number. You can lower that number by, like, a little bit. But in Spiro's case, I really want that ability, because that ability is Moxie. Every time he gets a kill, his attack goes up, and he could really use that. That's what I'm trying to gun for right now. Another rainy day. Again, 
either it's green mystery data in battle or it's green mystery data just on the overworld. It's starting to seem like it's green mystery data uh, in battle. It's really starting to feel that way. Here I thought we were going to move on to the next nebula area. Nope. Fuck right now, I'll take it. Let's see what over here. I'm really starting to think it's in battle for this data. I got one more on the trap. Yeah, the Sparrow I also have it also has a pretty good nature too. Like I can either choose a plus attack or a plus speed, and like the negative I think in both of your cases are like a minus of defense. While not the best negative, I'll take it. And I've been going with the plus speed. Wait, three? Okay. Ideally, if I had one that boosts. With that minus out special attack, that would be better. Okay. Is there like a. Yeah, okay, I can see from there. But yeah, with the egg gotchas, I now am trying to go for shinies instead. Gun Soul 3, nice. That's a new one. That took a while. That took a little while. Now I don't need to use the wild number, but I'm, I think I'm going to do it anyway. I, I'm out of untraps, so I'm going to have to go buy some. While we're here, I might as well throw in the lotto number for Gun Soul because I already have it. Or this particular code for Gun Soul. the only way to get that particular gun soul. trying to go for this one. The other option is we check end area 5. That is the other option. And you know what? If we're going to make if we're going to make runs to uh undernet 2, we might as well make runs to uh end area 5. It's not that much of a Let's go to. Let's. I'm still gonna try to get air spinner. 
We're gonna go to Undernet 2, and then we're gonna make a trip to uh, End Area 5 for Green Mystery. Oh, I should have, I should have bought a lock enemy while I was out in the battle, just in case. Oh well. Never mind. Always one benefit of doing this is I'm getting some extra zen from the green mystery data. There. It's probably on the way. It's probably on the way to uh, Undernet 3. I do think Battle Network 5 has a lot of roadblocks for a post game. Just blocking your way forward from getting to the end. I mean, a lot of these doors just acts as green mystery data or blue mystery data. And you know what? I'm fine with that. But like, if I'm gonna wanna if I wanna do a lot of the grinding, I wanna you know, wait until I have access to almost every area, you know? Because, like, for example, one of, uh, Air Spinner 3 is in Nebula Area 6 as Green Mystery Data. I could have that as an option, but no, I can't because I can't get there. So that just limits one way of getting it. Take some hits if I want this green. Okay, that's something. Let's do this. Get some healing in. As long as I stay down here. Zenny. And area five. Supposedly I could get it here. Let's look for the two green. Way. Okay. okay. First, we use the guardian. It's both of them. Open the 
this. That way I can go bomb all the way over there and hit something. That there we go. Anti damage F. I might have got a different code. Come on, other green. Where is it? Trap. Anti, anti damage F. That's not what I need. Okay, supposedly. A, it's a bonus panel in, in end area 3. That's still basically a 1 in 4, though. I mean, if, if I really wanted to go with end area 3, I totally can. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Nebula Area 3 bonus panel. I mean, we can do that. It depends on how long it takes to get to the first bonus panel, but we could totally do that. How about this? When I use up all my own traps, the, the rest of them, how about we go to Nebula Area 3 and try the bonus panel stuff? Yeah. And then what we can what I can do is I, I'll try the bonus panel stuff there and I could just save and reload and just specifically go to the bonus panel. That's the main goal. Or maybe when I'm on my last untrap. Yeah, when I'm on my last untrap, I'll do that. So that way I don't have to leave and come back in. Hi, Lark Man. How's it going? Let's go Toad. And then I guess we'll go with Leader Raid. Okay. Oh, the Strike Force is more controversy again. Oh no, more controversy! What is it? What's the controversy? Controversy. I hope we, uh, you still spend the money, though. Okay, use this up. I'll use that with it. Okay. Use this. Get rid of these two. I 
Good tomahawk, and then use these, which is 280, 280. Honestly, Larkman is not that bad of a fight. Yeah, Dark Tone can be done. Larkman, Dark Soul. I wouldn't have gotten it even if I got the... Oh yeah, I got it. Even if I didn't get hit, I wouldn't have got it. I was off by just a little bit. One time. Yeah, I think I think my folder has too many in different codes. I think I need to fix the folder up. said not to be needed. Yeah, I remember that. Well, to help with that sentiment of building them up, just for a legendary character, they made a limited time pocket dimension that the mission was easier. From the big time because instead of making it easier, it's even harder than the current most of... Oh. That's... Okay. I don't know how you mess that up. No, seriously, how do you mess that up? That's... That, that just feels really specific. Overtune the enemy, and apparently they did that by accident. Sure. The game mode is supposed to be doable with only gear 15. But even with people with 19 gear are having trouble with that. Ooh. So now they gotta patch out an update to make them easier or something. Well, I, I, I feel like it might just be like that just to keep people talking. I don't know. It's definitely getting people talking, that's for sure. In some notes, you do negative progress if you do a bad attack. I, yeah, okay, I see. There it is, come on! Don't you just love trying to grind for air spinner? <laughs> Besides, I need to go to Nebula area to close the later door anyway, so ideally, the plan is, once we get to Nebula area, I'll go to area 2 and go buy the one of the chips I'm missing. 
then we go to area three, do the liberation mission, and grind for air spinner at a bonus panel. And then once we finally get that, Or we just get the air spinner right now. That works too. I'll take it. All right. Let's take a look. Five more to go. Let's see. Now, I need to close the door and make it to where... I need to close the second door to get this. dealer for that, so I want... going to Nebula 2. I'm going to buy the chip I'm missing. We're going to go to close the second door and end area to make the enemies weaker. Then it's back to fight the trumpet enemies, which I guess will be here in Undernet 2. We never get to leave Undernet 2. But then once I get the trumpet enemy deleted, I can close the door altogether, and then we need to go to Scilab. I guess that's the plan. Right. How did I get to the net? just run from. Because I'm surprised I was able to run from some of these guys. Right there. This for first portal it just leads to dead end, right? Oh no, I can't run from this one. This is actually bad. This is actually bad. So, Cable is supposed to help with with that, but you're struggling to. Okay. I think. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, that did not work. That did not go as planned. Oh, wow, I got away. Okay, it's not guaranteed, but I can just run. It's a dead end. All these are dead ends, right? Yep. They just... Okay, so they fixed it. Well, that's something. As... Okay. Your shadow soul will be completely safe from the poison. 
gonna confuse him. in this. Oh, actually. Get up. And pack the ball. And what did I get? Fuck fragments. Keeping that. I could buy poltergeist. But I don't want it. I'm not buying More Zenny, please. I need HP memories and among other things. Okay. Which way is it to the Nebula Dealer? I keep forgetting how to actually get there. I got rid of all of the poison tiles on my side. the dead end. I gotta remember how I got to the end. If I go to the right... trapped right now. Okay. And there we go. And we get more Zenny. More Zenny, and if I go through this teleporter, there we go. That's where it Money, but we got it. Okay. Now I need to head back and we're going to Undernet or Nebula 3. Oh no, I can't run. Let's 
mosquitoes are on the offense again. Hard to type. Oh no, not those mosquitoes. They will rule the day when they try to attack me. Get the bug spray. of a game on the PS2 called Mr. Mosquito? That's a game where you'd actually play as Mosquito. And you terrorize, terrorize a family by drinking their blood. Which is weird when you think about it because the game's called Mr. Mosquito, but if I'm correct, only the females actually drink blood, so there's a little bit wrong there. I have not played it myself. But I've seen a playthrough of it. It's a weird game. It, it is... It's one of... It's one of those Japanese games, you know? Like, there's Japanese games, but then there's Japanese games. It's kind of on that verge, you know what I mean? Am I buffering or am I crashing? Now I'm curious. Now, I'm, now I got myself curious. Where? Uh, how much is Mr. Mosquito? Japanese version. That's not, what, that's not what I want. I want the American version. Not the Japanese version. For some reason, I can't find it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm talking about it right now. Figure it out a little bit later, but yeah, yeah. There's a Jap. There's a game called Mr. Mosquito. the right one, but I'm I feel like I'm getting close to finding it. I bet if I just look up the PlayStation 2, I'll eventually find it. Hopefully. Just keep scrolling down. 
find it. I will find the damn game. I want to know. My curiosity has been piqued. Like every time, scroll down, it then has to load more. Don't worry, I'm in the, in the H's right now. Oh no, okay, okay, here we go. We're getting close. Curiosity has been peaked. Oh, is it because in this case maybe Mister is like fully spelled out? So shortened. That might have been part of it. That might be the reason why I was having trouble finding it. Very entertaining what's happening right now, I assure you. Okay, yeah, there it is. I found it. It's because at least the US name, they fully spell out Mr. That's why I was having trouble finding it. The PAL version spells mosquito completely different to how we do it, so that's why I found the PAL. And the Japanese version. Mr. is abbreviated. That's weird. But a complete copy from Mr. Mosquito, it looks like it's like $90. Mr. M oh, you have a friend that has it. Very cool. Yeah, it looks like it's like 90 bucks right now. I had trouble finding it when I'm trying to type it in. Alright. We want to close this door. Now, off to Undernet 2. Again! Let me double check. Is that what I want? Uh, the door to Nebula Area 1 is open. We want Undernet 2. There's a part of me that felt like picking up at some point, but I'm like, oh, look, well, 90 bucks? Uh, not right now, that's for sure. That's a for sure thing. Not right now. Granted, like, 90 bucks isn't, like, the worst. Like, yeah, it's more than brand new game, but at least it's not double the price, but it's still, like, I don't know. I don't really know if I want to pick it up right now. Okay, wait, you know what? I will grab the green mystery data while I'm here, because why not? But I will want to hang out in the other section. None of these guys were looking for the trumpet enemy. Oh, you know what? I should probably have collect equipped. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna swap in collect. And yes, I have to earn the face of everything. So. Here, 
speed can go here, and that's all I can do. There we go. We got collect. Open this up. Custom bolt two. Why? Okay, sure. Why not? Nope, not this one. And you know what sucks? When I'm going for program advances, I'm gonna have to uh, probably close, open some of these doors just to fight different variants. I do kind of find this, like, door mechanic interesting, but it just means once you're, like, doing the full completion, you know, like, it's gonna take a lot of time out of your hands to just run back and forth to open and close doors. I know I need to hang out in Undernet too. I'm gonna go back over this way. Cause I wanna hang out on this side. So eventually I'm gonna close that door. We don't have to fight the enemy in Undernet 2, it's just... I won't- I, I just want to. Apparently we can go to the factory, we can go to... Uh... The one case, the message board, I guess. Or, you know, the other reason. We have a chance for Lark Man. You know, that's always nice. What do we got? L M N. I gotta wait for him to attack. And with that, we also have. Is that uh, I use up two chips? Yeah, this would be better. Program advance. Big noise. Okay. Dark. Number man. Not that it matters, actually, now that I think about it. Shadow Man, 100 damage. This is over. Lark Man SP. Who needs lock enemies when you cheat with program advances? Actually, no. It's not cheating. It's the, how you're supposed to do it. This is actually the fight I want. Um, if I do this, I can avoid slipping. This will be enough to kill. Okay, I think we have to leader raid. Got the green. 
light shot. That's the problem, isn't it? Maybe I'm better off going to one of the other areas. Especially when Larkman's on the prowl. You know what? I just saved. I don't have anything to prove. There's just too many different enemy types. Okay. Is this the message comp? Is. Okay, we could just hang out here. Here we go. That's what I need. Let's start with getting rid of. Luckily, he doesn't full heal. I guess. That should be it. Let me double check. There's three more. There it is. There's silence. Okay. We need 148, which we need to lower the. We need to close the door. Close the door. Go to Scilab 1. Scilab Area 1. Bring this for data. 153 is also Scilab 2. Green Mystery Data at level 1. And then for the final one, we need to have it level 2, which we currently have it at level 2. We need to go to Oron Area 3. We're already at have it set up to level two. Let's just take care of the one at Oran three. The fastest what's the fastest route to Oran three? I think we need to just go to Honestly there isn't really that good of a spot. Gonna be honest, there really isn't that great of a spot to get to Oran Area 3. I think I'll grab a block enemy. Wait, do I want to do that now? Yeah, we'll have one. We'll just have one. Okay. Honestly, you're either gonna take Gutsman shortcut. Or you're going to the Oran uh, Isle Jack in Point. Which still means you're running all the way around. Because this brings you to Scilab 2. Honestly, a path to Oran Area 3, there really isn't a good one. Oh, wait, I don't need collect anymore. Time to reset where everything is.
is that the net dealer over here again? Because now my money should mostly be used on HP memories as well as chips that could be used for program advances. I need nothing. I don't need anything here. Not that I'm aware. Nothing I'm aware of. Yeah, there's the chance of finding Blizzard Mail, but that's okay. Actually, I'm gonna need some traps. Maybe. Once I gotta go. Alright. Have a good day, hot corn dog. Once I get those, these last three chips, though, I am going for, uh, I, I'm going for the next nebula area. But yeah, if you don't show back up, I'll see you. Next week. The next net dealer is an end area one. Well, there's one in end area one. Is there a net dealer in Scilab? I don't think so. So, end area one would be the next one that would have HP memories. I could get it out of a bonus panel. You know what? I could do that. Hold on, let me check the green mystery data around. Check the green. Won't take that long. A little bit extra zenny. There it is. Nope, didn't get it. Okay, you know what? Let's try for the bonus panel in here. Oh, the Shade Man. Okay. Well, I don't really have a good setup for him. I guess we'll use him. I still need his dark chip. I get hit by that that is spawn. Okay, um I guess I'll heal. Get some chips. Chaos Lord. Hmm. I said Chaos Lord for a bit. Let's go Tom Hawk. Okay. I guess 
guess I could defuse him. I got hit way too many times. There's no way. There is no way I'm getting the Dark Soul chip. Not getting the 30 seconds, that's for sure. Getting, fighting him again and trying to get a record wouldn't be the worst idea. I could power up the SP chip that way. But I want to save my lock enemy for, I don't know, someone like Kirby. I'm saving it for, like, one where I need the SP chip. Dark's, the dark chip is a lot easier to get. Got rid of one. Fine, I'll take it. I don't care. Alright. Let's go for bonus panels. Check. Or an area three bonus panel. Where's the closest one? And we gotta use Colonel to save the button. There's one right there. That's we're just going for it. Uh, I could do a long sword, oh, then open that up. Colonel. Okay, that works. Gauge is not useful here. It's actually worse to have fast gauge. For now, this is not a one turn, that's for sure. one, honestly. Shadow Man? Yeah. I think it's enough to take down all of them. Don't wait for you to attack. There we go. Need it, but yeah. Colonel. Bye. Should cover it. Alright. Now they have to do their turn. Bonus panel. Let's save. Let's go. Nope. Don't want that. Keep going until we get a chip. We're, just, we're gonna keep doing this. Until we get that bonus panel. Uh, until we get that chip. It 
says it says Orin Area 3 bonus panel. So just double checking. Yes, sometimes these like trap ones are actual chips. That's not the case. It says bonus panel. Checking this. Nope, not what I need. We're gonna keep going. Too, not what I need. Now, every other bonus panel will also have Quake 2, but you can retreat. And you keep your chip. See? You keep it. So let me try it again. It's, it's, it's a 1 in 4. Just gonna keep doing this for a little bit. I don't know if this is the fastest route. I really wish he had a way to attack in range. Even if it's like some sort of counter. Or maybe he causes... Or maybe there would be a way I could cause falling rocks, you know? Yeah, oh well. Shade Man's gonna attack, probably Mega Man, he has a grudge, or, you know, he's dumb, he attacks Night Man, okay. I guess his AI is just attack someone, it doesn't matter who. I want to, I'm going to Nebula 5. I want to get there. It's a one in four. <laughs> and, it's gonna, and it's the same thing. Like, you have to leave and come back here. Let's try it again.
Try it again. Screen divide. I swear, if I get, if I get quake again, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be upset. Really upset. Um, get two of them. It was a higher attack uh, power. Man, maybe Shade Man's just kind of dumb. Do you think he lose brains, loses brain cells every time he revives himself? Just a little bit of brain cells don't make it. of the battle chips. I will leave it. I was right. It's quick. Come. Is the internet lying to me? try going to okay. we're gonna try this route maybe this will be the faster way now, one thing I do have to be careful shadow man's here I mean, I did call it. I really don't want to fight you right now. See what I mean? I really don't want to fight him. It's not really that helpful. Try confusing him. But I think I need to go into number. Oh, he'll throw that four times. He's angry. I'll use my own Shadow Man. Oh, uh, right, duh. I forgot the Shadow Clone is also coming up, too. And I timed it wrong altogether. That was just a bad play. That was just a bad play on my part. Uh, let's throw that four times now. Matter. 
Tetris. Chaos Road. Get dumped. I know I have the block enemy. But we get the SP chip anyway. Four, so the increase, it doesn't have that much of an increase. See, it's only by five. But that's because we don't have a record. If we do better, we can get that powered up. And... Uh, I could do it over here, I don't know. In Shadowman's case, you really want to power up that shit, don't you? Because that is not a... That's not that big of an increase. I mean, it, it's, it's like an extra 15 damage in total, but... Wait, no, that's not right. Whatever. So being 120. Yeah, no, it's like 15 damage. Either way, it wouldn't be the bad or oh, worst idea to power it up. But we got the chip anyway, that's all that matters. That's what it really matters anyway. Supposedly, the chip is here in green. And it's not bug frag. So. Mystery data? Nope. Not there. was faster to go this route, I think. Yeah, this is the faster route to Orient 3. Instead of cutting, trying to cut through Gutsman and then ACDC 3. It kind of sucks that we have to rely on green mystery data to get some of these chips. And it's really random. Like, there's no shop to buy them. And I haven't uh, 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 compared folders. If I compared folders, I could have just bought them at Higsby's with the chip order. Navi plus 20. Now we need to go and close the door to Nebula. Oh, right. The scroll. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. The scroll compact one. I wonder if there's like a missing HP memory in there or something. Because I don't think I fully explored it. But it's like a water god, you know, it's a huge maze. I have a feeling I have to explore the squirrel comp a bit better. Right. We need to get... 
get to Nebula. Close the door. with untrap. Scilab 4 and Scilab 2. How many untraps do I have? Okay. Pretty decent. Right? Scilab, and luckily it's Scilab 2, so we could just go here. Two and four. I wasn't planning for this. I'll take it. Please count. Thank you. Okay, just some Zenny. I think we need to check down here. There's it. There we go. Untrap. Good. Fun. Not the right chip. Not the right chip. Okay, now we need to go to area four. I don't know how, like, without looking things up, I don't know how you're supposed to find some of these. Because with how rare some of these drops were, I would have given up after checking... Uh, on checking like some of this green mystery data, some of the green mystery data a long time ago, you know. I think this is also a case where they wanted you to buy a strategy guide. I think there's just a lot of things in this era of video games where a lot of the secrets were hidden in a way where it forces you to buy. Because I can't think of another way you're supposed to find out some of this stuff. So that's the best guess, honestly. I mean, sure, we have game facts, but like, with game facts, either the people that write, write those guides either have to buy the strategy guide themselves, or they look into the code. Find out where everything's at. Or they really, really just check green mystery data 50 times in each area just to find every item that they could possibly get. Fragment. Check again. So yeah, I think this, I think just this era of games was really trying to sell you strategy guides to find secrets. 
Like, I would say... GameCube PS2... GBA... Era kind of thing. Not every game was like this, obviously. But I do think a lot of... A lot of you could probably make an argument that a lot of them were. And I think that just kind of stopped being a thing for like PS3, 360, or it was dying down because they realized the internet exists. Or they just decided, hey, we're gonna make a better uh, way to tell you in game. I don't know. I forgot to set up on track. That is a big factor. I could equip Sneak Run. Again? With the Thunder? Actually, yeah, can I equip uh, Sneak Run? Some of the monotony of the rain battles. No, it just means I'm probably guaranteed to fight Cloud Man or Tomahawk Man if they just decide they want to show up. Free data, 820 zenny. There it is. Green mystery day. Hey, look, it's Tomahawk Man. Yep. We. Ugh, okay, to be fair, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Let's have another soul. And let's have my safety net. That was a failure. Okay, um... Let's try that again. Not only did I time it wrong, anti-damage activated, wasting time, and then he got invincible. Uh, this is okay. Dark Toad Man. Can't go into Tomahawk Man anymore. That's not gonna happen. I already wasted my. Normal Tomahawk. That's fine. Time bomb one, not what I need. Try it again. Scilab two and Scilab four. Thank you. 
side. Yes. Panel? No, that's not it. Oh, no, that is it. Okay, yeah. Panel return. That's one of them. Now we just need the one in Scilab 4. the one in Silas 4 was the one in Silas 2. Never mind. But yeah, one more to go. Not there. Here, here. Green Mystery Data. Zenny. Yes, Green Mystery Data. Panel grab. There it is. That is all of them. All sander chips. Let me put air shoes back in. And it is time to actually go to Nebula 5. Hopefully. Please let me go to, uh, uh, let me go to Nebula 5. I want to progress. Okay, 78 bug frags. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, but I'm not there yet. We need one more Giga Chip to open that door. But Chaos Lord, I don't think counts. I think we tried it. And even if we didn't, uh, I, I don't think it counts. You know, Merc Merkland, actually. So the area in question is actually called Merkland. It's just, I think Nebula took it over. I think that's the explanation. But that goes to... That makes me wonder what Merkland actually is. They didn't say it anyway. We're just fighting the level twos because I think because I had the door, the other door closed. Okay, I don't see the green. I would have grabbed it if it was there. What do you mean I can't run from this? Like you heard me, you can't run. Oh, I was able to run from like everything else. Wasn't the green mystery data over here? Yeah. Might as well grab it. Anti Navi M. I think I actually needed that. go 
or something else? Let's do that. I want... Because we can set up another program advance now. I... And you know what? Let's also set up the Cosmo Man one. Just to, you know, get it done. And I think I'll replace Guardian. Guardian hasn't been that useful lately. I mean, it's been useful, but not that useful. And you can either use this or the M code. I need pulsars to change to the meteor. This uh, yeah, we'll go grab the green. We'll go grab the green. Bar sword? Okay, well. Nice to have another one, I guess. If I was good at pulling off the elemental sword one, I probably would have used bar sword a bit more. But as I tried in Battle Network 3, I just could not pull it off. I could not pull off the elemental sword. I tried many times. But I was I just could not get the buttons pressed fast enough. If I had like literally like an extra second to put in the input, I would be able to. What do you mean I can't run? asteroid kind of like worked in battle network 3 where you had to place like the staff somewhere and as long as it's not destroyed it will summon down meteors for a little bit that's how i thought it worked I'm like, no i gotta try it now. i gotta try to go for it I need to get rid of ships, so like this first. I 
I can use that stone. Alright. Not yet, so let's get rid of all of this. We don't need the program advance. Last turn. Program advance. Cosmo Chris? Chris? Christine? I don't know. Okay. In reality, I don't know how many attacks that would actually affect, but, you know, that's something. Maybe I'll try it more seriously. It might be better than Big Wave, though. I don't know. At least we used it. It's kind of one of those all that I really cared about. Um, let's see if we can get off the world going. There we go. Next up. Two out of three. That is two out of three. You know what? Let's try to set up the other one. Okay. Dark number man. Let's just get rid of a couple things. I also want the healing, but I need to get the chips. Yes. Our Toad Man. Get the healing in. We're looking for the last program, Vance, and I mean, with anti navy and anti damage, I'm pretty sure you know. Regular number man. Get rid of the tone man. Form. All for a program advance. I mean, I need to use it. It's all good. There it is. Anti damage. Anti navi. Muramasa. Program advance. Body. Still probably only. That's 70 damage per hit. But I'm pretty sure it only hits 10, so... Mm. <sighs> Bodyguard, it was good in 2 and 3. I don't know if it's still good now, but... We'll give it a go. Just in case. We're fighting level 3 variants, I probably won't be able to run. This is risky. Or not, not anymore. Okay, I believe this is the door that's the 3 Giga Chips. Power, find three giga chips. Yeah, Chaos Lord does not count. Because it technically does not go in the library. That's, that's all it's checking for. Just in case I. Green 
Mr. Dare. Some Zenny. I mean, I have to try, but can I even make it work? I guess I'll try Scully. I mean, maybe Bodyguard would be good if I use Dark Number Man, you know, to uh, add a plus 50 to it. It might work. What are you chewing on, man? You have a bone, right? Or did you find something else? I hope it's a bone. Okay, it's a bone. I was worried she found something else she's chewing on. This one is the... I think that one's Program Advances, actually. Maybe. I think that's what it me means. Here we go. This makes out no power's been shown. Get to move on. Let's take a look around. Okay, that's the way forward. I want to take a look. I saw a purple mystery data. Probably can't get to it just yet. That worked. What's up here? Voice speaks out of nowhere. Power's been shown. I don't know why. Maybe it's all dark chips. We got Django Dark Soul for that. Okay, that's another Mega Chip. Oh, okay. What? What is over here? Is it? Honestly, I don't know what what would be there. I have. I honestly have no clue what would. up here. Voice speaks out of nowhere. Show your power. Car 30 combinations that bear new power. Okay, that's the program advanced one. Then what's the other one? doing some of the later ones. Anyway. Make a save. Nebula Area 5. This looks like it's the last area to liberate. How do you know that, Lan? How do you know that? Yeah, and I can sense the hate over there. Colonel! No Tomahawk Man. Oh, I really don't like that. But we don't have Number Man, so that's a good sign. 
looks like this is the last area we can hit. Yeah. What, what were you investigating? Something deep inside this area. What is it? The throne of King Chaos. Throne of King Chaos, not King of Chaos. Not the King of Chaos, okay? King Chaos? All of the hate born on the net flows freely until it finally reaches here and takes form. King Chaos is the embodiment of that. Okay, maybe that's not a mistranslation. So the voice that guided us here was actually King Chaos? But it sounded more, I don't know, noble or something. I guess we're the ones who will find out. Liberate within 16 phases. Let's go, team. It's the final liberation. Y yes, sir. Okay. And what's interesting about this is we have two ways to save with Colonel and Toad Man. No traps, as far as I'm aware. So that's a good sign. I'm upset that we don't have Tom Hawk Man, though. That's my only annoyance. There is a lot of keys we need to get. Three sets of keys. Blizzard Man and Cosmo Man are here. So, I think we need to get to here first. That will open up this. Then we start working our way around to here and here. Or something like that. If I try going up this way... Either way, we need to destroy some of these. Hmm. Okay, well, I can have Longsword here. Nightmare to my Colonel. I think it might be best to start heading to the right over here. Then what we could do is we can have Shadow Man. We, we can uh, life, med life Medley Shadow Man. Have them open up this way a bit. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, open that up a lot. And I guess we'll just have Nightman and Colonel take care of these. That sounds like a plan to me. Oh, I mistakes were made. I have fast gauge. I want slow gauge. Do I have a star code for slow gauge? I think that's the real question. I do. Oh, I can't even shortcut it. Okay, I don't even want slow gauge then, anyway. So, another invis? Maybe just another invis? I mean, I guess. It's not like I can put Guardian in. I'm, I'm really thinking of swapping Cosmo Man back out. Yeah. Well, wait, how, how much of my stuff is S codes? Really, nothing's S code anymore, so maybe I need to go a different route. I have more stuff that are like G. swap these out. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Let me check something. I just remembered something. Fire hit 3G. Oh, yes. This is a better set. Because these pair up with my Scullies. I still want to keep these the same. And they're fine with staying uh, for the program advance. Aqua Whirl. So I just kind of keep these here for Toad Man, and it's okay, Chip. Well, let's look for G-Codes. What do I have? Mint? No. Custom Volt? No. Shaky One? No. Rainy Day? Anti-Water. Don't really have good stuff for G. Day. 
say... Sure, let's throw in a couple long plays. Get rid of the two asteroids. And honestly, this will s open up my mega ship. For someone else. Let's see. It's not a multi-hit. Gridman? Shango? I do love... You know what? Let's throw in Django, why not? It's weird. Okay. Now let's try that. Oh wait, um... What do I want my shortcuts then? Can't put Scully, can't put Uncle World. I can put Firehead back on. Or Invis. Just guarantee an Invis. Also put anti damage. Honestly, throwing in an invis at the start is not the worst idea. It's either that or I do fire hits, which that really only benefits Mega Man. So let's try it. Let's try it now. I can't skip through the text. I just gotta skip through it. But yeah, you, I definitely want fast gauge out of the folder. It's just wasting space. Right, same plan. We start with the long sword. Okay. This is interesting. I can at least get rid of two of them right now. Perfectly. I could have waited just like a second, but okay. So these two around here-ish. And I'm gonna have Toad Man use life mode. Might as well save because I'm gonna stand here, because if I do this, I think I can protect him with Nightman. Shadow Man can go here. So I'm opening this up. I don't think it would work. Alright. Let's have Nightman do this. That way he can protect Toad Man if needed. Okay. It's gonna be hard. But. Taking a lot of hits. That's okay. And now we can have Colonel destroy this one. I want to save. Please, can I get only one turn? One turn? Let's 
try off the wall for a little bit. Time bomb, yeah, it's not What it is. Birds are moving. Yeah, we have to get the man. Going. Okay. What's next? Uh, the plan is to go this way. Eventually we will need to get up here, but we need to destroy this. The level 3 barrier, I believe is this key. This one right here. I think that's the level 3. If not, it's like way down here. Or here. Like, it, it is ridiculous. So, I need to go here. If I destroy this panel, I can screen divide, and that's all I can do with order points. Then I have someone... Is this order points? Like, I was hoping screen divide, longsword, someone, someone. Yeah. For now... First one. Not really that great. Let's try that. Got rid of one. Two. Barely hit him, but I think this will work. There we go. Perfect. Alright. You know what? I want to check something. First, I'm going to make a save here. Because I'm probably not going to keep this. I want to find out what this is right now before I make my my final decision. What I want to do. Try that again. Again, I want to see what this is. I just want to know. If it's order points, I'm going to have to maybe figure out what I, uh, I didn't have. I can't use this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
want to know what it is. That's it. That's it. I just want to know. What is this? What am I... What is this? It is order points. Okay. Now that I know that... Now that I know that... Actually, there is another way of handling this without grabbing the order points yet. get a one-turn liberate. I doubt that's gonna happen. So I don't think I should plan for it, but I'm gonna give it a try. I can't really adjust my folder. Mid. Are you kidding me? Fine, whatever. Okay. I can't plan for one turn. There's no way. These enemies are too strong. Even if I had Guardian, still. Even though now I think about it, they're probably gonna help. And I'm, I'm not, at this point, I'm not gonna start over. Um... Let's start with that. Um, start with that. that does make things a little bit worse for me now. Screen divide. No matter what I do, I have to waste. I'm not getting to this this turn. So, how about we go Nightman? Thank you. 
start. I want to know what this is. Okay. Let's see. What to go with? Where are the two chips that do this? Okay. Attack. I'm gonna just complete that one. That did hit me, okay. I wasn't sure. Two more scullies? Now that I know that Pearl, the Mega Man's part is not that bad, let's just go for the order from this right now. Let's just go for it. Right here. Django. that movie. This is a hard one. This is gonna be a hard one. I really wish it was the Hawk Man. Take it. Grab the order points for later. Mega Man, please. Something good. out of here. 
I'll take it. No one turn, but that's okay with me. Okay, there we go. Made progress. I need to save. This is a bird. Nightman could do okay here. I need Toad Mantis. Hmm. If I destroy this, I'm just getting rid of a... Uh, just getting rid of a spot. That doesn't give me a key. Oh. I think I need Toad Mantis to use Life Metal Melody to get this going. two people work here. Um, the question is... What do I want here? What do I want here? This bird came from over here. I think this is a bird. So... I open this up. Someone do this, someone there, someone there. Or I have Shadow. M no matter what, Shadow Man's gonna have to work. Mm. Life Melody is the strategy. Actually, because I already... No, I, I better do this. Let's see. Let's start with number soul. Program advance it is. Cactus dance. See how it goes. Okay, I'll take it. Alright. I want I'm gonna have Night Mango here. Would be a problem. And now, back here. And it isn't back. Scully. Oops. 
this guy knows to hang out in the back. He knows. Alright. I'm gonna listen to that. I still think I wanna go that route. If I could just get Nightman. Hit him. This is a better starting. Opens Colonel up to go there. Life melody on Mega Man. Honestly, if the bird attacks, I'm attacking Mega Man, he should. Well, I shouldn't speak, speak too soon. Okay. Two Aqua Worlds would probably be okay. I am also gonna Tomahawk. Let's try Shadow Man. And have him open this up. Should have an advantage. Or just neutral. Okay, that's fine. Um, same thing again. One turn liberate. Perfect. Well, that helps. Now, we get Colonel save. Perfect. Now we get this. Yeah, it's gonna have to do with the bird, but... I mean, this is great. This Aqua World. last turn, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. He's not on the ground, so this isn't going to work. It's a good thing I saved right before. Let's try it again. I think we need a better starting. Honestly, it kind of sucks that these aren't more powerful now. Like, you think for something like this, they would be. Um, I at least got rid of one enemy. I think I'll live with that. Something a little weird. Django. Trap him in the coffin. And we also get the mech. There we go. Now I can safely deal with the bird. Okay, there we go. There's that. And I 
knew it was that bird, so we cleared him out. One less enemy. Yeah, well, he's going after Mega Man. Two order points left. We need to get here. So have someone take out this guy. Then we could do basically we could basically do something like a uh, long sword or long sword here. One of those two. Either way, we can use up some order points. But who do I okay. Basically I have a full team. I could sh no, Toadman won't actually be that helpful here. Like his chart shot sucks. But if it's the only guy, we might have a better shot. Then start with the long sword. Anyone else is nearby? And long sword, and then slowly be like Shadow Man, Nightman, Colonel, or something like that. Okay, you know what? That is a strategy. I don't know if it's the best strategy, but it's a strategy. work. I think in this case with Toad Man, it's because he's the only one here, you know? Like, that's why I think Toad Man can maybe make this work. Everyone else isn't that bad. I don't think I'm gonna one turn, but you know, let's see. Dang, I actually would have one turned. I actually would have one turned if I didn't choke the main buster. Oh well, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I didn't need to one turn. I should have gotten, I should have hit the other guy. With Django. For Nightman, because if anyone attacks this section, Nightman can block.
shut down. Okay. And let me guess, battle chip? Order points. God, I need those. Colonel, save. could turn blocks into like the sentry guys. That would be nice. Start with Scully. What's next? So this would be... It's not the bird, is it? No, the bird would be here. I think it's this guy. So... Is Toad Man a good option? What? I have... I have order points. I could have someone... Life Melody here this open. If that's not a key, then they open this up, which hopefully will open this door. Yeah. And then once you go through here, you start going up and around, and this is where probably key door key to this. Something like that. And then the third one's got to be here. Or something. I don't know. It's either that or um, get rid of the lizard man. I guess the real question is, do I want a life melody? And I, and I think the answer is yes. Life melody will open this up right here. But who would I want to use it on? Life melody. This is not the key that we use this. Then you gotta head that way. So the shadow man can you'd be too far away from this, but you could see. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess I'll have current. Do I want Colonel after here? Yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try. I didn't just mess up. What's more annoying? Leader, uh. I don't know. I more annoying. Okay, 
right, we're getting rid of the apple. He's gonna heal... one of them. Come on. That was... that would've worked. Let's try it again. It sucks. He only has... I can only take one hit. Actually, no. It's a no-hit run for right now. This is a no-hit run. I need a better starting set. That's 260. That's 280. Plus confusion. At this point, I'm committed. <laughs> it's either that or I have Colonel Pass and heal up. But I feel like that's just a waste of turn. the rest of this up. Actually, I should have done this in a different order. Oh, well, too late now. Uh, Mega Man, Nightman. I guess we're making a save. More work to do. single target yet. Hi, whatever. I need to give her something. Zen. I think I need Nightman to be the one to do this. Okay, okay. I can live with this. I can live with this. Start with Django. points. I mean, okay, I needed it, but that wasn't part of the plan. So wait, then that means the key, well that ain't it. The key's over here. The key's over there. I gotta open up this path anyway.
Okay. Yeah, go ahead and start getting many mana. It's not gonna work. Actually, the key could be in front. No, the key's not in front, in front of Blizzard. It's not. I know it's not. At least I hope it's not. We could have Toad Man Life Melody. We get that. And if that's not the key, I reset. And Life Melody here. To open up the, start opening up the way to Blizzard. Two saves too close. I want to save the save for later. Um, okay. If it's Nightman, I want him closer to here. I want him around here. Like, I would want Nightman to open this up if that were the case. So, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna make a save. Really? Next, Let's see if this is it. If not, I'll save it for later. Number soul, so I can the chips there. Django. Showman, I could. Mm, wait, 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 wait. Um, But I don't, I don't care. Oh, come on. I need that, but mm, there's no way. Yeah, there's, there's no way. Chaos Lord, it is. Never mind. The key. Blizzard Man is currently guarding the key. So now, in this case, we life melody.
night man. I really need you to open this up. Like it is a must. Okay, this is a pretty good starting setup. Got rid of him right away. Shadow Man and Colonel for this. Because there's no way Colonel can take on Blizzard Man by himself. Let's make a save. We gotta just do what we can. about Django. Uh, he basically casts a sap spell, basically. His HP was not gaining. I forgot he does that. I forgot he does that. That's really nice. alive, surprisingly. I'm not gonna sneak attack, that's a waste of brain points. Alright, what do we got? Alright, that's a good start. Almost a turn two. We got rid of the wizard man. Oh wow, he's dumb. Oh wait, could he even attack me again? No, he should have been able to. Yeah, he's just dumb. The nightman protects. Oh no, he doesn't. In this case, I think I want Nightman to go after the bird because honestly, he has the best shot. After that, this should open up. We should be able to move forward. Um, I could screen divide to open that up. Or I could just like Toad Man and then we just like, Mega Man, Shadow Man, Colonel, or something like that slowly open the way. We gotta get past this guy. And it'll just be another one that spawns. So... I'm just gonna have Nightman do this right now. It's just the bird. He should be fine. It's gonna be a little confusing, but it should be okay. is the first key. Wizard Man blocks the first key. Now with 
that in mind. Mega Man's the only one that's not weakened. Life Melody is not going to help me. It's not going to be that beneficial. Sucks that everyone's low on health. I think I'll have Toad Man go first. the attack going. Let's try that again. Let's see how it goes. I'm, this is... Hmm. This is not much better. Mega Man, long sword. He has the best shot. He has the most HP. Mm, okay. Number soul. I want more chips later. get past the Toad Man section of the Dragon Ball. We got an even worse starting one. I don't know what's more annoying. Let's just get rid of this. I don't care that they don't line up right now. That's just one less enemy. If I moved one square down, it probably would have hit him. Instead of bomb. And I just ran out of time. Okay. Shank. 
Django. Let's start with Django. I don't know which one's worse. Yeah, I could have waited. Oh, it only does the sap uh, thing. If, uh, if it's a Navi. It doesn't do that for viruses. Interesting. This is a bad speed Toad Monster to use right now. The charge shot was the electric thing again, but his, uh, his normal charge shot was in place of this one. Again, I could, like, pass and heal up, but... No grass tiles. Um... I'm not the biggest fan of Toad Man, like actually using him. Like, there's some fun things you can do with that short shot, but I think it hinders you more than it helps. Hit them all with Django. I think that's not the worst idea in the world. It only took like 10 tries, but we made it back here again. Make it in, please. Please. Okay, Dark Toad Man. Bonus tile here. And we get like some HP or something. Something good. Major hit on uh, how much? It destroys the enemy, but not the square. Honestly, I'd rather just deal with the the enemy by itself. Even if I am gonna have a disadvantage. Team, be careful. 
becomes invincible for one phase. That's a single turn of combat. No. No, I don't want that. It's not the worst. It could definitely help. That's what I wanted. Full recovery. Someone needed it. Okay. Shango won't be enough. However, like it's kind of the best option. Managed to make it without getting hit. Done. Now for Shadow Man. All right. That opens up a lot, and we gotta deal with another one. That's okay. Now, I could try... I could try Toad Man. I really could just try Toad Man on that. It went okay last time I tried that. And the next stop would be this way. Down and around. Alright. Let's try it. I have to dodge the fire and then punch him. So I would have gotten hit if it wasn't for Invis. But we got the hit. I don't think Nightman is going to be that great on this. Might use. Might use Mega Man. So we have Shadow. Mega Man or Shadow Man, and we save Colonel for this. Nightman, Mega Man, Colonel, and Shadow Man. And I guess Shadow Man works on this. Well, actually, Shadow Man could go all the way, like, here or here and start working on this tile. Because next time we could do something like Life Melody, Open the Way. 
long sword, life melody, something like that. I don't know. I think save Shadow Man. He can do something. Oh, we'll see. Some tomahawk for the healing. Just to help take that. That's good. Then, in this. Get rid of the water guy. It's not fast. Um, will be enough, but I need to get rid of the trumpet guy. There we go. Made it. Okay. We got the barrier key. The HP could have been used for someone else, but whatever. Okay, that opens up. Now we need to Um, if I open this up right now, I, uh, I'm not going to use this. If I open this up right now, then one, two, more. Black Melody, that, and then that opens up a lot of other places. Or... No matter what, it's not the best loadout. Mm. I gotta work on something. I don't know what the best route is.
think either way I want to look at it, I might need two life melodies. Green Divide, Shadow Man, Night Man, well, no, I'm not using Life, it's either I'm not using Screen Divide or I'm not using Life Melody. If no matter what I do, no matter what I do, it's just kind of not going to I think I'm going to have Shadow Man open up this way. So this works out. Never mind. I do think it was a smart move to make Invis with Shadow Man. I do think that was a smart move. Colonel still got the full recovery. Okay, Shadow Man, is there like a better spot I can have you work on? Honestly, no matter what I do, it kind of just doesn't. It would be great if I got a turn one. That would actually make things a little bit better. But yeah, I'm not. Okay. Let's set this up. Let's this new raid. Turn one, but that's fine. Now I should actually you know, save. Front. Okay. I think I should just slowly work up this way. Toad Man, I can even longsword this. Two out of here. 
a man. This guy's two. Okay, good. Made it out of there. I still think I'm gonna longsword. Should be able to get rid of the apple immediately. Or, you know, I just whiff it. That works too. Doesn't really matter. Just do your thing. That's bad. That's much more on oh, they're all bad. This is this is just terrible. This is just awful. Um this but it's actually my best shot he has to be in the back oh, shot. <laughs> that was so close that was close let's try that again my shadow man has a better shot but Made it worse for myself. 